Right, we're going to make a cockade or cockade, depending on how you like to pronounce it. And what I've got here is, well, quite a long length, I think it's about three metres, which I won't need all of it, of um, Petersham grow grain, but this isn't millinery grow grain, it's just polyester one, I think. Anyway, you can do this with any ribbon and any width. And what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to decide how long we want our end to be. And I'm going to go for about this. So I've folded it over, as you can see, and placed it down. On Actually, I'll do it a bit smaller because it might be a bit big otherwise. So I folded it over. It's probably about three inches folded over. Then I'm going to fold over again. And do it slightly smaller so oop, like this try and get it all even it's not, not very easy doing it on here i'm doing it on a foam board so that i can pin it then we fold again and we're going we're going to go around in decreasing lengths okay so try and get them fairly even so you know, look and see where your points are. I'll put a pin in there just to keep me stable for a minute. And up we go again. And fold over. And again, a bit smaller. And I'm going to carry on getting smaller and smaller and going round in what is effectively a spiral. So, like that. Put another pin in just to keep everything in place. So you can see I'm getting smaller and smaller, okay? And decide where you want to stop. Do you want to stop fairly soon, or you can carry all the way around to the end if you want? But uh, it looks nicer if it's sort of a fan shape. So I think I'm going to stop there. Okay. I'm going to chop off my ribbon a minute. Okay. And then that is going to fold under. Right, now I've got to stitch all of these together. Um, and I'm not going to have to do it in situ. As I say, normally I would hold this in my hand and do it. But I'll do a quick stitch just to get everything tidy. So that I can get it off the board and then show you the next bit so I've got it roughly stitched I now want to stitch it properly so I'm going to carefully turn it over and stitch from the back as well and again, you see what happens, it all moves about. So be careful when you're stitching it down that you get everything in the right place exactly where you want it. It's a bit fiddly, but you'll get there. So once I've got it all stitched fairly roughly in place, as you can see, excuse the long ends, I'm now going to um, fan the corners. 
And again, I'll need more thread for this. Right, so I'm going to fan the corners now, which means I'm going to fold them over. So turn it over to the wrong side again. Fold over this to the corner and stitch it down. Make sure you've got it even so that you've got a point at this end. So what I've decided to do next is I'm going to do a little bit for the middle section, a little added extra. And this time I'm just literally, I've, I've um, melted the edge of this so it won't fray. I'm literally just going to fold into a nice, like this. So I'm going to stitch it as I go. Right, so I finished just doing a quick little, a mini cockade or cockade. And that is going to go over the centre, like that. I'm going to stitch that into place. And then I'm going to stitch a button on to make it look nice. And you don't have to have a centre bit there. You could have just put a button on, I suppose, you know, like that. But what I might do... Okay, now what I tend to do on the back is I cut some felt um, to stitch to the back because it makes it keeps it all together there and it makes it easier for then attaching to a hat or something like that. So I'm going to stitch this on and then I'm going to stitch some felt onto the back so that uh, it all stays in place. So we're going to do something a little bit different with this ribbon. Now this is um, an ombre ribbon. I think it's rayon or something like that. And it's got wired edges. A lot of the time I take the wire out of edges, but I'm going to leave it in for this um, cockade or cockade. So what I'm going to do is fold over like so. Fold over like so again, so that I've got a triangle with some points. And then I'm going to fold that in half, okay, like so. Then I'm going to fold that piece over, like that. That piece over like that. And I'm going to do it again. Fold. Fold in half. All right. So you can see you're getting little uh, points. Now, to be honest, really, you could do with um, sewing this as you go along. But what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to pin it or clip it so that we can um, see what we're doing. Put a clip on those first two. Right, so, fold over again. Okay. 
fold up, fold over again. <laughs> helps if you if it's not it helps actually if you pin it on the board and do it, but that makes it hard to show you. So right. Fold over again. So now I should have three. So I'll clip those all together. I've got three now. I've got about a metre and a half of ribbon here. I don't know if that's going to be enough or too much. I'm just winging it, you might say. So. down like that, fold across like that. What you can do is you can keep going until you've got a full circle and then you need to stitch them together. Now I'm just doing these as a, a show and tell and I'm not going to stitch them because to be honest I wouldn't use all these cockades once I'd made them so I want to unravel the ribbon again at the end. <laughs> but you can see it does, it does make a very nice effect. And you can either just do a half or you can do a full circle. And then when you've finished and you've stitched them all at the, at the corners, you can decide how you want to lay them down or splay them out. That's just... Uh, okay. The simplest cockard is just to do folds like this. So if you wanted to have something just as a half, you could just keep folding the fabric, your ribbon, rather over like this and make a half circle. I mean, there's such a lot you can do with ribbons. It's really down to your imagination and, and fiddling about with them, to be honest, because you've either, you can either do something, you know, very simple like that. You could do that all round as a circle. You can do the more complicated where you, you fold it over or you can fold it in like this. Hang on. It's a bit fiddly to do in situ. And then you've got a different edge again. So there's lots of things you can do with ribbon, but it's really, um, you know, it's down to you what you want to do and how you want to to uh, create something. That what we did earlier, the little half circle. It could go on something like this, like that, and again. You've got something very pretty that you can decorate a hat with. So, there we are. So, I hope this has been some help. It's just a quick tutorial on what you can do with uh, cockade ribbons, you know, making cockades. And what I am going to do is do a tutorial on other ribbons and what you can do with them. And... That will be for my members only, 
this is uh, for the public and the other tutorial will be for my members only. So if you would like to become a member and gain exclusive videos, uh, the sign should be coming up now, the link for you to join. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope this has been of some help to you. Bye for now.